Hi, welcome to Vicky Makes and Builds and to our Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers special edition. So this is a one-off battle between myself, uh, Jeanette from Jeanette and Her Puzzles and Donna Louise from For the Love of Puzzles. So I'll explain a little bit about how this came to be. As you know, we all attended the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championships last year and among others, we all came back with a very special puzzle gifted to us from Alfonso, the president of the World Jigsaw Puzzle Federation. The puzzle in question is this one, the Ravensburger Anniversary Puzzle. So this is a limited puzzle and only a thousand have been made, so it's very hard to get hold of. It's a thousand pieces and it's a photo mosaic that makes up all of these colourful floating jigsaw pieces with the words Ravensburger Puzzle across the middle and the logo in the bottom right corner. As a thank you to Alfonso for all of his kindness and generosity towards us and also to help promote the World Jigsaw Puzzle Championship 2024, we decided we would speed run this puzzle competing against each other to see who managed to do it the fastest. Obviously with it being a limited puzzle and with only the three of us having it we couldn't do our usual kind of battle so we're doing this special additional one instead. So here's how it's going to work. We're going to give ourselves three hours to complete it after which point if it's incomplete we will count up all the remaining pieces and see who has placed the most pieces within that time. Then we'll continue timing until the puzzle's finished and see how long it takes us to build overall. Now, I have no predictions for this, really. Speed running a 1K puzzle solo for me is a feat of endurance and very different to speed running a 500 piece puzzle. Whatever happens, I just want to have fun with it and puzzle alongside my awesome teammates from the WJPC 2023, Donna Louise and Jeanette. It's going to be so much fun as we're going to be chatting over WhatsApp as we build and I can't wait to have a good catch up and puzzle along with them. As for Worlds this year I will be cheering on Jeanette and Donna Louise from home. I'm unfortunately unable to make it to Worlds 2024 but I encourage anyone and everyone to go and experience it for yourself. It's one of the best things that I've ever been involved in. And I am pleased to announce that Alfonso has invited me to still do some commentary this year remotely from home if we can get that to work. So I'm so excited about that and be involved in some small way. I really will miss you guys. But I will be there in spirit. And Jeanette, I cannot wait to puzzle with you at the British Championships in Newmarket. Please show your support too by watching everyone's premieres which will follow after mine and see how they do. I will link the Battle of the YouTube Puzzlers playlist in the description as well as Jeanette's and Donna Louise's channels and videos. Please subscribe to us all if you aren't already and I hope you enjoy. So here we go, bring it on Ravensburger. I decided to full flip which I was nervous about because I only really had just started testing the full flip out again and flipping a thousand pieces seemed a little overwhelming. I had extended my puzzling area with an extra bit of foam board though so I had space to place them all. I did separate out the writing and the edges and also some dark red pieces. I started with the blue logo in the bottom right corner and that was basically the only bit of this puzzle that I expected to be easy that actually was easy. The rest of it pretty much deceived me. The writing in the middle was surprisingly tricky. Lots of similar shaped letters that meant I just couldn't really tell what pieces went where. Then I set to putting together the jigsaw pieces. I started with green. They stood out to me. There didn't seem to be as many or as big. It was fine, but I immediately noticed that the photo mosaic element and lack of a defined line around the piece was problematic. It made it so much more tricky as it had a blurring effect that threw me off quite a lot. I basically made my way through the colours as best I could after that, moving on to hot pink, light blue, light yellow, popping edges in as I went along. Then I managed to do the oranges and made a start on the lighter pink, at which point I reached the three hour mark. So this is where I'm at at three hours. Now that first three hours was when we were all on call to each other 
Jeanette, Donna, Louise and I, and it made the whole experience a million times more fun. I love the banter we had, trying to pretend sabotage each other by convincing each other that there were definitely five G's in Ravensburger and not just one. <laughs> but actually though, we were giving each other advice and helping each other. We were keeping each other informed as to where we were at, at which point, what we were going to do next, what we were thinking about. And it felt a little to me like we were back at Worlds again, puzzling together as a team and, you know, just talking to each other and helping each other out. Even though, you know, we were competing against each other for this puzzle, it just felt like being back at Worlds again. I really, really enjoyed it and we had such a laugh. <laughs> anyway, we counted up and as you saw, I was 465 pieces done. We told each other at this point what our results were, so we knew who was ahead. But what we didn't know was who would ultimately complete the puzzle first. So at this point, we said goodbye for now and we went off to complete our puzzles. Here's how I did. One slightly annoying thing here was that I had all my pieces spread out, but now they were all in piles of 10. So I had to essentially full flip them again. After doing that, I built the larger red pieces in the puzzle and then put all the pieces in their rightful place. I do wish I'd done that sooner. That's one of the problems I find with full flip and especially with a thousand pieces, you're still doing a lot of moving pieces out of the way to try and form the puzzle. Anyway, once it was formed and the edge was done, I had a much better idea of where I was at. I filled in the dark blue pieces and the pinks until all I had left were background pieces. We had agreed before to take a time and count up when we only had background pieces left. I had introduced a piece of paper to the proceedings too by this point as I needed to be able to see the pieces organised better and I don't like placing them on top of the puzzle. Once I had background pieces I ditched the paper and went with my spare piece of extension foam board to shape sort. It was a little too big if I'm honest and I think for future speed puzzling I need to cut a piece of foam board down. It came in very handy in this puzzle towards the end. The shape sorting and gap filling seemed to take an age <laughs> but eventually I got there and after just over an hour finish the puzzle. So, full disclosure, and Jeanette and Donna Louise do know this already, but I actually paused my timer once. Well, I paused it several times, but once I paused it and I actually forgot to turn it back on again and I did some puzzling without the timer running. Now I looked at my time-lapse footage and I was able to work out that I missed roughly 15 minutes of timed puzzling. So what I've done is I've added that on to my total time. It's frustrating, but it's the best that I could do really. <laughs> I found this puzzle to be way harder than I thought it would be. The writing in the middle, the blurry photo mosaic element to it, it really threw me <laughs> and I was caught a bit by surprise. I don't think that the full flip method that I used was a bad method necessarily, but I'm not sure if sorting might have been a better way to go. I think space-wise sorting would have been good, um, and given me more room to build the puzzle and actually put it together. Also, after the three hours and putting all the pieces in piles of ten, if I'd sorted by colour, I could more easily have just put them back into the colour piles than it was to, you know, flip them all over again. But still, I am pleased with that. It was tough and honestly knackering. <laughs> After the initial three hours, I basically stayed and puzzled a while longer, but I wish now that I had had a wee bit of a break first because I was tired and my neck was sore as well. Puzzling a 1000 piece puzzle was exhausting for me, and I personally think 1000 piece puzzles should be done either in pairs or as teams. But our wee chat as we puzzled made it more than worthwhile and I loved it. I want to thank Alfonso so much again for gifting us this puzzle. I really did enjoy and love the puzzle. I think you look at a puzzle differently when you're speed puzzling it, but as a puzzle image and the puzzle itself, I really did enjoy building it. 
I hope to keep this one together and save it in a puzzle album that I've got. It will always hold a special place in my heart because of the memories attached to it. I sincerely hope and definitely think that Worlds will be every bit as amazing and more so than last year. I know that the registrations are through the roof this year and registrations for solo participants are almost at 1,000. Who knows, at the point that you're listening to me say this, they may be over 1,000, which is incredible. My goal is to return to the Worlds in 2025. There is absolutely no doubt in my mind that I will be going to Spain again. But for this year, Jeanette, Donna Louise, I will have to live vicariously through you. I promise to cheer you on in the commentary and Jeanette, I will be bringing these to you in June to the British Championships as well as a bunch of 500 piece practice puzzles for you. May they bring you good fortune. And I shall leave this video there. Just quickly, I want to thank Alfonso so much again for gifting us this puzzle. Thank you so much for watching and joining us in the live chat. Thank you so much to Donna Louise and to Jeanette for making this such a fun thing to do and just being awesome. Stay tuned for Donna Louise's video, which you should automatically be redirected to, but if for some reason you aren't, you can go into my description and the link for her video will be in there. You can just click on that and it will take you over to her premiere next. Please subscribe to all of our channels to help us grow and support us making more content. And if you aren't signed up for Worlds 2024 yet, what are you waiting for? Happy speed puzzling everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's pick this up.